Welcome back and it's Flazzy Anti Gamer and we're playing Nancy Drew, The Secrets of the Crystal Skull. Now last time we were playing this kind of marble game, I guess. And well let's just say it took a very long time to complete. Although half of it was just because I decided to go through the game quickly and then I made really stupid mistakes but that doesn't really matter now let's just check out upstairs okay so this looks like it's a spare bedroom yeah and that's the glass eye or at least one of the many is there anything underneath no so what's that all for a glass eye i doubt it most likely there will be some kind of hidden passageway or something anyway i am just going to warn you guys for at least those of you who are wearing headphones to put preferably the volume a little bit lower okay so this door is closed i mean just like to what's good for you because you might hear me scream a little bit now i don't not mean like ear piercing scream but screams but just like the odd scream here and there i mean it has happened once already in this very room well i guess it's a little bit of a spoiler but anyway i uh, did we check this out yeah we did so does that mean it's time to actually go outside? Maybe. That's the front door, but I'm not leaving until I figure out what Mr. Skeleton Man was up to. Oh. Oh. Am I missing something then? I mean, I thought you were supposed to get outside. I mean, go outside. Oops. There is a dog barking. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary there has to be a way to get outside there has to yep okay i think i just found it most likely i just decided to ignore it the first time i saw it and this is the way outside so let's check out the porch and here is miss lady who kind of makes us drink potions or whatever Okay, so that's that way. I want to go this way, but it doesn't seem like I can. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. So let's talk to Nancy. her. Welcome to my little land and lit corner of the world. It's actually pretty nice, to be honest. Yeah, I guess it is kind of raining. Looks like you like to grow things. I do indeed. Herbs, mostly. And because I'm in constant need of them, I grow them in pots. Okay, here's the thing. I just heard her say herbs. I'm quite sure that is a thing. But I usually say it with the H. I don't, most likely it's some kind of American and European thing. I'm not sure exactly. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. Now, there's nothing quite like cooking with fresh herbs, that's for sure. I still don't even know. Why should you? What? Even though he's like gone, why shouldn't she cook? You know? I mean, if you'd like there's to cook. There's nothing quite like cooking with fresh herbs, that's for sure. I don't use these herbs for oh. cooking, darling. Did you and Henry have a nice chat? Oh, well. Okay. We talked. I did detect a little amniosity between. Okay, I do not know what amniosity uh, animosity is. Did I detect a little animosity between you two back there? Henry's a very morose, very negative young man. Very cunning, too. In fact, I'm fairly certain that he's been selling off Dr. Bolay's belongings on the sly. Yeah, like, what kind of belongings? Like, cheap gizmos or 
something a little bit more. What kind of belongings? Just little things, odds and ends, really. But the lawyers made it very clear that no assets were to be liquidated until all of Dr. Bolay's affairs are settled. According to Dr. Bolay's will, Henry is to get 30% of the estate. Dr. Bolay's physician, Gilbert Buford, gets 30%. Our Lady of Route 57 School of Dentistry and Cosmetology gets 30%, and I am to receive 10%. Okay, so this is where it's going to sound stupid of me. But I never un exactly understood. I'm quite sure estate means a house. You know what? I stop talking, you know? Because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to sound dumb here. If you don't like Henry that much, how come you're still here? I'm here because Dr. Bolay paid me in advance, and I always fulfill my obligations. Okay. Ro loyal to your word, I guess. What was in that concoction you wanted me to drink after I got knocked out? Never you mind. It was just a little remedy I brewed up on the spot to help you feel better. On the spot? Alright. I mean... That kind of scares me a little, a little. Have you ever seen this before? I found it by that scale model of the cemetery that's inside the house. It's a mystery to me. I suggest you ask Henry. He leaves things lying around all the time. I guess he figures I won't notice amid all the other clutter. But I do. I notice everything. How else may I be of service to you? Do you really notice everything? Like, I, I mean, you can, but you cannot notice every single little thing. Why is there an empty frame in the gallery inside? That is a very good question. I first noticed the canvas was missing after the reception following Dr. Bolay's funeral. But as for why it was missing, I do not know. Okay. If you don't mind my asking, what's in that little pouch you wear around your neck? Things. Secret things. Things that give me special talents when special times demand them. People usually laugh when I say this. But this pouch is my connection to the energy that powers the universe. Oh. <laughs> well, at least you didn't laugh. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's was just like... Oh. Anyway, I... I'd better get going. One more thing. Oh, wow. Okay. I, too, have seen the skeleton man. After Dr. Bolay passed that night, I saw him in the hallway. He was there, then he was gone. So you best be careful, Nancy Drew, because if it was Mr. Death, and I truly think it was, he's come back. Huh. You, oh, okay. Mr. Death. Well, that's a little bit formal, I guess, for, you know, debt. Now, I don't know exactly what we're supposed to do here. Oh, I guess... No, I still don't know. I guess we're going to have something to do later on, maybe. Okay, so now I'm actually getting lost. Oh, what, what's this? Uh, okay. Are these some, these have to be some kind of statues. Well, I'm not even going to try at the moment because I have no idea what to do. Well, speaking about not knowing what to do. Maybe we just have to get them all up. That's going to be my guess. And now we can look, most likely. Okay, so that gave us these two. And hopefully the last one will give 
us these two right here. Hopefully. Now the question was, I think it's this one. I'm hoping it is. Let's see. Um, did it change? Or am I just missing something here? Okay, this just has gotten a little bit less straightforward. Okay, they're definitely not changing. Definitely. Okay, we'll get back to this. I mean, there's a lot more to check out, so might as well check everything out first. I'm guessing this is the way to all the other places which we saw. So let's go right inside. Okay, nothing to the left and the right. I just saw a shadow here and I was like, wait, who's this? Okay, so this is the little fountain which we saw. And that's the tree. So if we go f one further up and maybe to the right. Oh, we know here is one of the landmarks which we saw on the on the little model. To figure out if there's anything camouflaged in that design, I'm going to need some paper. Oh, so that must be what the other paper which you found means. Okay, so that means we need some paper and some pencil or charcoal. I mean, it's one or the other. Well, that's a very original name. Sorrow Park. I don't know how I feel about that one. Okay, wait, how did we just go back? Oh, we came from here. Okay, I thought we came from here. But then again, my sense of direction was never good. Did we just come from here? No, we didn't. I mean, these things look, these kind of mushrooms look a little bit suspicious. But ev I guess things will be revealed by time. Okay, I'm just hitting dead ends here, straight after. Dead end of the Blah, 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 blah. Dead end after dead end. And then we just happen to check out this weird place. And which we cannot actually go inside. That means we just have to go forward, really. Unless you want to go back. Okay, so we can go here. Oh, wait. Wait. Wasn't there a crocodile here? Okay. I might be crazy, but I'm pretty sure on the model it said there was a crocodile. crocodile. I guess not. I mean, if it's not there, it's not there, you know? Okay. Now I'm starting to doubt if... I can actually get back to where we started from. Because I'm pretty sure I'm doing everything wrong. Okay, so this leads us here. So I'm just going to try and explore every single option. So now I just have like two main options left from the tree. And this is this way. Okay, so... That's basically this side done and this side done. And this is where we came from, so last last but not least, another dead end. Okay. Fair enough. It just means we've explored this area. I guess. Or not. I mean whatever that is. Just a random crack in the wall, it seems. Not exactly safe, but oh well, you know, what are you going to do about it? I just realized we do have a phone, but I wonder if it will work in the rain. It seems it did, so... Or at least it does. So let's just phone Ned, see what he has to say. 
Hello? Nancy? Hey, Ned. It's about time you called. Did you make it to New Orleans okay? Yep. Have you seen Henry? Oh, this yeah. Death, I'm not sure I like the way you said that. Is he okay? He's fine. Well, he's the executor of his great-uncle Bruno's estate, which he's not real happy about. But he and his great-uncle weren't that close, so he's not grief-stricken or anything. Well then, are you okay? Other than being attacked on my way into Henry's house by a skeleton wearing a red ascot and getting knocked out by the smoke bomb he threw at me, I'm fine too. What? <laughs> Let's just say that I've stumbled onto a mystery, and I'm not leaving till I solve it. Why am I not surprised? Is Bess with you? No, I told her I'd meet her back at the hotel. So tell me about this skeleton man. Well, it was someone in a costume, obviously. He or she was leaning over something in the great room when I walked in and surprised them. So they threw a smoke bomb at you and ran? Yeah, I must have interrupted whatever they were doing. What were they leaning over? The scale model of a cemetery, near which I found a tracing of some kind of symbol. I'm thinking maybe Skeleton Man dropped it. Why did Henry's uncle have a scale model of a cemetery in his house? Good question. I should probably ask Henry. Good idea. That's true, but maybe the Skeleton Man just kind of lost his way. I mean, I'm quite sure I would. I, I'm still I'm trying to sure. figure out how you got to be friends with Henry. Well, we're not <laughs> best friends or anything. Heck, we're not really even friends. I just feel sorry for the guy. I mean, he never hangs out with anyone between classes, and when I'd heard there'd been a death in the family, I just wanted to make sure he was okay all by himself down there. Don't worry, he's fine. A little strange, maybe, but fine. That's good to hear. You know, you're a pretty nice guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right after Henry's great-uncle Bruno died, someone stole one of the paintings from his gallery, just took the canvas and left the frame. Anything else missing from the house? I don't think so. At least no one has said anything. Of course, the only people here are Henry and Bruno's housekeeper, Renee. And this house is so full of stuff. Even if something else was missing, it would be ages until anyone noticed. You think the missing painting ties in with your skeleton man somehow? Well, just saying. What do you mean ages until every anyone noticed? I mean, didn't Renee said she noticed Everything. Okay, so, hmm, skeleton man and painting. I mean, everything doesn't lead up to everything else at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, I have no idea how it ties in, but my gut feeling is there's some kind of relationship between the two. Well, if there is, I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah. For sure, because that's what Nancy Drew is here to do. Uh, wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. Bruno Bole's housekeeper, Renee, is still here, despite the fact that she and Henry don't really get along that well. Why do you think she's staying on? She says it's because Bruno paid her in advance. But you don't believe her. 10% of Bruno's estate is supposed to go to her. Only she thinks Henry's been selling off Bruno's assets on the sly. So it wouldn't surprise me if she's staying on so she can keep tabs on him. How much of Bruno's estate is Henry supposed to get? 30%. That's a pretty healthy chunk. He wouldn't be selling stuff on the sly. This Renee person sounds kind of paranoid. What this Renee person is, is freaky. In what way? She wanted me to drink some strange-looking concoction after I passed out from the smoke bomb, but she refused to tell me what was in it. And she wears this weird little pouch around her neck says what's inside it connects her to the energy that powers the universe. She's probably harmless, but stay on her good side, just in case. Oh, it's really noisy outside. Anyway. Nothing more to report. Call again, okay? Soon. Okay, bye. See ya. Well, I have just my notes here, just in case something popped up, like a another unexpected puzzle. Anyway, let's just quickly talk to the two people who are here. And I just thought we can go this way. Speaking of... Wait, what's that? Uh, okay. Well, speaking of unexpected... Mini-games. 
this definitely came unexpected. Oh wow, now, now they're coming too fast. Oh wait, they're reviving! Oh, well, that explains a lot. Come on, come on. Yes! That okay, we did it. Quiet for a while. And we got... A lemon. Wow, okay. That was very... Handy, I guess. A lemon. Okay. Hello again. Hi. Whose boat is tied up down there where the bayou comes up to the cemetery? Do you know? That would be my boat. Comes in very handy when I need to forage for certain swamp dwelling plants. Okay, now she's really freaking me out. Is she like doing some kind of black magic? Do you magic? by any chance have some plain paper and anything like chalk that I could oh, use? Yeah. Don't have any chalk, but I certainly have paper. But what? it's up in my room, and I'm afraid I cannot retrieve it for you until I'm finished here. You get the sudden urge to draw a picture? Something like that. I know, I'll help you. That way you'll get done faster. Gracious, you are the picture of impatience, aren't you? Well, I appreciate the offer. But here, why don't you just take this instead? It's an extra key to my room. The paper's in a drawer in my nightstand. Just go on up and help yourself. But make sure you lock the door when you leave, you hear? You I trust. But Henry, him I do not. Oh, I really she appreciate trusts this. us. Well, oh wait, Nancy said something. Sorry about that. Well, she, as I said, oh, she trusts us, but she really shouldn't. Anyway. As long as you're going up there, my appetite could use a little placating. So I would be much obliged if you would bring me a candy bar from my nightstand. And take one for yourself while you're at it. Yes! Okay, that's what I wanted to hear, because I, I thought Nancy should take a candy bar also. Because, I mean, after all this running around and... Like, I don't know what we were doing with the bees, but we were definitely doing something. You know, Nancy should actually work up quite a bit of an appetite. Anyway, I'm, I am assuming that this is her room since it's the only door which is locked in the house. So, let's check out... Oh! We cannot actually look around her room. Well, this is a surprise. That's it. Where are the candy bars? Oh, okay. One for Renee. Whoa. Whoa, 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 guys. <laughs> this is one too many candy bars. And one for me. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Chocolate. Well, I don't know about you guys, but for me, candy bars are kind of like sweets. I would call one of these kind of candy bars chocolate. Like I kind of... Wait. What's happening? Oh, okay. We couldn't go back and I just had a fry today. And here's Nancy back at it, at it again with the snooping about. Huh. This is the duel from the last train from Blue Moon Canyon. Or at least one of those dolls. It's kind of strange that she would have it. Okay, what's this? Okay. I'm guessing that we have to kind of mimic the... Pictures. Which... Oh, wait, I already pressed the button. Okay, you know what? I think this is it's time for some notes. So I'm just going to do a circle, and actually this is on the wrong page. So you're just going to hear my paper here, so that I can actually prepare some notes. So one and two exactly from the middle. I have three. Oh wow, this is going to be so complicated. Okay, I'm just going to get these notes real quick. So be right back. Okay, well I have. Got a basic kind of note system here. And I will 
do try to fix this puzzle or at least try to attempt this puzzle in the next episode so this does mean that we're going to end episode here so this is Fazian Tide Gamer over and out